Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Welcome back to the Unity 5 RPG tutorial. So, in this video, we're going to be using those maps that we created in the last video and bringing them into Unity. I'll show you the software that we're going to need to do this and how we go about bringing them into Unity. Also, some of the cool things that you can do within Unity to these maps. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download Tiled to Unity. This is a free tool created by Sean Barton. Sean Barton, Barton. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but uh, seen Sean, I'm pretty sure that's uh, Sean. Anyway, he created this software which allows you to translate uh, tiled maps into Unity. Now this works with Unity 5, it says it works with Unity 4.3, but I've tested it with Unity 5 and it works amazingly. And it's completely free. Um, you can download the source code to it on GitHub, you can download the binaries and the installers and a zip file and all sorts of different magical files. So go ahead and download yourself a copy of Tile to Unity. The next thing we're going to want to do is start up our Unity project. So I'm going to load up Unity and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this project, I don't know, um, YouTube RPG Tutorial. There we go, that sounds like a good project name if any and set your defaults up for 2D. So just basically make sure that this 2D option here is highlighted in red. Select create project and wait for the magic to happen. Once it's happened, you'll be presented with the Unity 5 uh, default window. Now I've changed my window around a little bit. This is just my personal preference. You can use Unity in whatever layout you like. However, I personally like this layout with my inspector on the right, the hierarchy on the right as well, and the project on the right. I've also taken all my project icons using this little zoom thing in the bottom right side of the project um, project inspector, I suppose you can call it, and turn them right down to the left. That basically makes sure that they're little text entries like this. Okay, so with Unity on your PC and a default project set up for 2D defaults and also having the Tile to Unity project downloaded and installed on your PC, we can begin creating our game. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Tile to Unity. I'm going to do that now on my machine and you'll see we get presented with this window right here. Within this window, you're going to want to select, I think it is help, and then select import Unity package to project. What this does is it loads up Tile to Unity's internal uh, scripts. They've created all the scripts that you need to actually render a tiled map within Unity. So once you've uh, imported that, you'll see that down here in your assets or your project inspector, it'll be called Tiled to Unity. And this is where all of your imported uh, maps will go. This is where all of the resources you'll find all of your textures and shaders and meshes and all of the, the good stuff will be within this folder. Organized nice and neatly for you into some fantastically and appropriately named folders. Okay, so back in Tiled to Unity, you're going to want to go to File, select Open Tiled File, then from your, um, pro, or from your Windows Explorer, navigate to the folder where you saved your tiled maps. Then I'm going to select the tiled map that I want to load into Unity. In this case, I'm going to use the demo map that I created in the last video, but moving forward after I've fixed those um, ordering issues, the the layer ordering in which, uh, you know, where the player resides in between those layers in the maps that I created for this tutorial, um, I'm going to use the demo map until I fix those. So I'm going to select open. You'll see some stuff happen in the console. You don't really need to worry about any of this. It's basically just loading that map and doing some magic to it to make it work in Unity. Select the preview exported map button and make sure everything's looking good. If it is, you can close that window and click the big ass export button. However, you will need to select a path to export to. So I'm going to choose the export folder and I'm going to select the YouTube RPG tutorial, which is just the folder of your Unity project. Um, so mine is under E Unity Projects YouTube RPG tutorial. The final thing that I'm going to do is change the vertex scale from 1 to 0 0.01. All this is going to do is make it so that the map is smaller. Now with the default camera settings within Unity, 0 0.01 will mean that 32 pixels on the screen at 100 units per pixel, which is Unity's default. You don't have to worry too much about the math behind this. Just use 0 0.01 and know that it works. But basically internally, YouTube is not YouTube. Unity is going to use a vertex scale and correlate that with the units per pixel and basically 32 units per pixel at 0 0.01 vertex scale 
at 100 units per pixel will make sure that 32 pixels of tile set image is 32 pixels on the screen for the camera. So set that to 0.01, then click the big ass export button. That's actually what it's called. Once that process is completed, you'll see successfully exported to hopefully the path of your project, then slash assets tiled to unity imported and then some sort of file. There will be a whole bunch of files that have been imported, but this is just one of them. Uh, now we can jump back into Unity, and if we go to our prefabs folder, you'll see the demo map now exists as a prefab. You can drag this into your scene, and lo and behold, you should see, you should be able to see the map that you created within Unity. How cool is that? So we've got a map in Unity. I'm just using the demo map. Uh, we've got a camera. We can move the camera around. Hopefully you can see how this RPG is going to come together. It's starting to move forward now. Um, but obviously we've got this issue where the red, the red colliders that we added into the map are appearing on our map and we don't want to see them, do we? No, we don't. So select your map in the scene view, open it up in the hierarchy, come down to the collisions object. I'm just going to zoom in on my map a little bit. There we go. Expand the collisions object out a little bit. Select the mesh and disable the mesh renderer. What this has done is it's disabled the ability for Unity to even render those collisions onto the screen. They're still there, but they're not being rendered onto the screen. So if I click them, you'll still see them as collidable elements within our map. Um, that is because our collision object has a polygon collider on it which if you edit the polygon, you'll be able to actually come in here and start to shape. You know, if you want to manually edit these, you can sort of come in here and start to, you know, add new points and things like that. Start to shape the objects out. But this is completely optional. You don't have to do this at all. I just uh, messing around with it to show you how it works. So anyway, the collision objects still exist. Um, we've just turned off their ability for them to be rendered. Now, the last thing I'm going to do in this video is come to our camera. I'm going to come over to size and I'm going to change this to three. Sorry, I'll change it to three. Oh, sorry, three on my keyboard is mapped to something else. There we go. I'm going to change this to three, two, or even one. Even one. Now, I think I'm going to use two. Two looks to be the correct proportions for this map. So as you can see now in our game view, which is 640 by 480, we have each pixel is now at a size of two of our camera is now mapped to exactly 32 pixels, which looks correct. The other thing that we can do, as most RPGs you'll ever find on the market, specifically 2D RPGs have, it's not a blue background for where there's no tile map. So select on the background after you've got your camera selected and just change this over to gray. Just pull it up over to white, gray, black sort of side and then come down about 90% of the way until you get this like off black. It should be a little bit gray. Personally, I find that's the color that looks most professional because I think a lot of other RPGs use this sort of color. And there we have it, a map, an RPG map, specifically a tiled map in Unity 5. How easy was that? We didn't even have to use the Unity editor. Now it's all really simple. If you wanna make changes to your map, you just load up tiled again, change the map, save it, rerun your tiled to unity um, process and just click the big ass export button again and it will overwrite your map so the prefab hopefully if it's still linked to a prefab um, within unity obviously um, it will just update and you'll see the updates reflected in your game very simple stuff anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video in the next video we should be moving on to things like adding a hero a player to move around and control with mysterious and wondrous input mechanisms. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.